All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trip speed. Pros next go. On one, on one. Ready? Three. Three. What's up, guys? It's Pick'em with Huddle GG, and in today's video, we're gonna go over the absolute easiest way in Madden 24 to shut down the stretch alert bubble play out of the single back wing slot formation. Now, everything we talk about in today's video is part of my new 4-3 even 6-1 defensive game plan that can be found over at huddle.gg. In this game plan, there are two hours of video going over different blitz schemes, different coverage schemes, unique things you have not seen before in 4-3 even 6-1, and ways how we can stop different types of runs as well. So make sure after you watch this video to head over to huddle.gg and check out the rest of this defensive game plan. Now with that being said, let's hop into it. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna show how we can stop this out of a play that's found in every 4-3 even 6-1 in the game. And then after that, we're gonna show how we can actually set this up even quicker with one specific play that can only be found in a unique formation in this game. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But what we wanna do first here is we wanna go to our coaching adjustments. We wanna turn auto flip off. We wanna turn auto alignment to base. And then we are going to come out in the play cover four quarters. Now, what we wanna do first is we wanna press our defense. We wanna pinch our defensive line down and crash them down. And then we're gonna put our backside linebacker or the side uh, that the bubble's being ran, that linebacker, we wanna man him up to the inside receiver just like that. Okay, so again, when they're running the bubble, that's who we're trying to man that linebacker up to. Now, we're gonna be using this middle linebacker and we wanna stack ourselves right behind this defensive tackle to the stretch side. Now what you're gonna see is when we run this, there's going to be a wide open gap shoot for us on the right side of the field, where we're gonna be able to hit the running back in the backfield every single time. So what you're gonna see here is when they say hike, we're gonna be able to shoot there, shoot through that gap, and hit the running back there over and over again, okay? Now what you're gonna see is I'll run it one more time to show you how consistent it can be, and then we'll check out the replay to really look at the specifics and details of this play. All right, so what we wanna do here is we wanna press our entire defense, we want to pinch our defensive line down. We want to crash our defensive line down. And then the outside linebacker that's to the side of the two receivers, we want to man him up on that inside receiver just like that. Okay, we're going to stand right over this defensive tackle here to the stretch side. And when they say hike, we're going to be able to shoot this gap and hit this running back in the backfield for a four to five yard loss. All right, so what you're going to see is when we go to the replay, I'll show you why this is working the way it is. So when we pinch and crash our defensive line down, you're gonna see that the five offensive linemen are gonna pinch to the inside of the field as well, specifically number 71. Okay, so 71's gonna pinch down, causing this gap to open up because the tight ends are going to work outward to block the outside linebacker because they don't really recognize us as a threat there in the middle of the field. Okay, so again, you see there that the 71's gonna pinch in and 85's gonna fan out, which opens up that wide open gap. That's about a five yard gap for us to run through. We cannot make this any easier here uh, to get that running back in the backfield, okay? Now, you're thinking maybe, what if they throw the bubble, right? It doesn't matter. This is an alert bubble, so all you need to do is man up that bubble like we did, and it's gonna completely take that out of the play as well. So we're gonna do the same setup. We're gonna press, we're gonna pinch our line, we're gonna crash them down and man up that backside linebacker to the bubble, right? So again, if they do go to throw this bubble, that manned up linebacker is going to shut this down every single time he's gonna be in perfect position to make a tackle at the line of scrimmage. Because again, this isn't an RPO read, it's an RPO alert. So there is no worry about a read option key. So he is going to immediately go out and take his man from the start of the play and be able to take that play away right away, okay? Now, before we get into another way that we can run this that's even simpler, make sure you head over to our Discord at huddle.gg discord and join our community where we have almost 6,000 members of people who love to talk Madden, love to help each other out, and that's where you can find myself, Rockets, and AntCap, who are gonna answer a lot of your questions as well regarding anything on the website or any other Madden-related questions you may have. So again, make sure you go over and check that out. Again, it's at huddle.gg discord. Now, what we wanna do here, again, I promised you guys we'd find an e even easier way to run this without doing uh, as many adjustments as we just did, even though we didn't do a ton of adjustments there. So again, we're gonna come out in stretch alert bubble, and we wanna come out in the play cover to man. Now, this is gonna be something that can only be found in the New England Patriots 4-3 even 6-1, okay? Now, what we need to do here is we actually don't even need to man up that backside receiver anymore, right? All we need to do is we're gonna press, we're gonna pinch our line and crash down. That's it, 
We're gonna now hover over this defensive tackle here again. And what you'll see is when they try to run this to the outside, we're still able to shoot that gap and hit the running back there in the same exact spot uh, that we hit him before in cover four quarters. So again, if you do have the flexibility to get to the New England Patriots playbook, this is gonna be even easier because we don't have to take that extra step to man up the backside linebacker to the bubble. He's already manned up to the guy we need him to be. Right, so again, we're gonna press, we're gonna pinch our line down, we're gonna crash them down, stand over this D tackle. And again, if they try to throw this backside bubble, we now have somebody in perfect position to hit that. And as I showed you before, if they try to run that stretch to the right side, we're gonna have that wide open gap shoot to hit every single time.